Wow, I am so excited to be there with all of you for this virtual ninth annual open house to celebrate Peace Corps' 60th anniversary with the KCA PCA. My name is Jim Damico, and I'm speaking to you from Nepal. As some of you may know, I was one of the 7,000 volunteers who were evacuated a year ago due to the pandemic. Even though Peace Corps hasn't restarted their program yet here in Nepal, I took advantage of the easing of travel restrictions to get a tourist visa so I could visit my host family. Hopefully this summer, Peace Corps will reinstate volunteers and I can return as a PCB. I arrived here the last week of January with a three-month visa, but I hadn't really thought it through on what I would do here once I arrived. All I knew was that this was where I wanted to be. So instead of waiting for reinstatement in the U.S., I was going to do it in Nepal. Kathmandu was kind of a shock. It was as, it was as if half the population had left the city. People were out and about, shops were open, but traffic was light, and there just didn't seem to be the masses of humanity that I was used to seeing before the pandemic. Even on the main highway out of Kathmandu, there was very little tra traffic. After a good night's sleep, my first full day in the village seemed like I had never left. I fell back into my old life as a member of my host family. After self-quarantining for 10 days at my host family's home, I was finally able to get out and see the village and meet everyone all over again. I got a lot of surprised faces and even more giant smiles when they saw me. My first visit to school was like being mobbed by the paparazzi. The students were so excited, especially the primary students. In that first week out, I had a chance to visit several of my favorite students' homes and talks with their parents. Although I am still very happy to be here, it hasn't all been smooth. For one, my school thought that I would just pick up where I left off 10 months ago when I evacuated. I had to explain to them that I wasn't a Peace Corps volunteer now and that I had paid my own way to be here. And just so there wouldn't be any confusion once I do come back as a volunteer, I told them that I couldn't teach, especially since I was visiting Nepal with a tourist visa. But I've been able to help some of the primary teachers whom I never really had time for when I was here last, like the nursery and kindergarten teachers. After several weeks of going to school, I finally have relented to teach the occasional class, especially to my previous students, much to the joy of my co-teachers. Another place that I wanted to look into was a small primary school, grades K through five, near my host family's farm. I knew that those students would be going to my school eventually and thought any help I could give the teachers there might help the students once they reach our school. So since I have time now, I will be going there once a week to see if there's anything I could help them with. As any volunteer knows who has to suddenly leave their service, there are always things going through your mind about I should have done more of or less of, and I am so blessed again to be able to go back and almost start over, learning from my mistakes from the past. And I can't wait till reinstatement either. One place I wanted to do more of is documenting my time here. So if you want to follow my adventure, head over to my website, wanderingtheworld.com, or my Instagram feed at Jim Baksh. Again, happy, happy 60th to the Peace Corps. And here's hoping for even better years ahead.